just just before we move on to doing the uh, belt and the optional pocket to do the hem this is not going to fray all right so you can just turn over a centimeter on the bottom pop it under your machine probably a bit more than a centimeter there Cheryl I'm used to inches so was most of the rag trade is in fairness and then you can just sew that oh my blooming somebody please send me one of those things that stop your pedals moving again if you've got a couple of stitches on and you want to ease it through the machine just tug on those threads gently so all the way around with that you over the join make sure the arms out the way that one we might come and trim later so you're just sewing close to the edge and I'll just show you the finish that you get you just get a just get a raw edge really no fancy pants nice and simple it's good quick make very satisfying very pretty on dolly who doesn't love hanging around in a dressing gown i know i do I do it all day if i was allowed got to do things like you know school run live telly supermarket oh how i loved lockdown right so we're just getting to the end, we've gone all the way across our hem and the next thing we're going to make is our belt, right just before that gets stuck on there and that's the effect we get on the front side and on the back we get no fraying. So why don't we talk about the belt? Well, the belt is quite interesting. Excuse me. What we want to do is more or less exactly the same that we did for the belt loops. So we're just going to fold in one centimeter on each side of the fabric. Okay, and then we're going to fold it in half, and we're just going to sew down the length. Very easy. So there's four layers there. Okay, and what you want to do is before you get to the end, you just want to tuck that in so that you end up with the ends on the inside and that's how you make the belt so all you do is you just sew that and then thread it through your loops and you've got a nice long skinny belt wonderful now there is an optional <coughs> optional pocket let's talk about the optional pocket I don't always put a pocket on mine, but there is one. Now to make the pocket, what you want to do is you want to turn in a centimetre on all three sides. So one of the short ones, two of the long ones, and just clip them. Put clips in to hold them together. You want to fold in the short edge first so that your corner is neat okay fold in the short edge like this Ta -da. and then at the top you want to fold it over twice so once better actually if you stitch round first. Should we do that? 
let's do that. We're doing a bit of a cheap sway here because otherwise it's impossible to get it onto the dressing gown. So just slightly in from the edge. Now watch this. Oh, you can't see me. Gordon Bennett, sorry guys. Now, we've got um, this corner coming up and what I will do is I will put my tweezers on it there to hold it, she says, whilst trying to operate the camera so that it focuses. There you go. And I will push that through till the last minute with those tweezers. Just checking that that's under with my tweezers as well. It's got a fascination with uh, focusing on my hand, this camera. I do apologise. And again, we come to this side. Pop that under and hold it down with my tweezers. I'm going to go around. There we go. And then the only thing left to do is come up this side. So let's fold it under. Let's get our foot down. Hmm. Being a bit naughty. Now you know why the pocket's optional. <gasps> there we go, got it. Right, so what we've done is effectively we've sewn round the three sides. Now you can fold it twice, but as I've said before, this fleece won't fray. So if you just want to fold it down once there, you can. No one's gonna no one's gonna mind at all. Certainly not I. So just pop that down there. This is making the top of your pocket the little reveal. Goodness me, what's happening? Needs a bit of a helping hand. It's quite thick, this material, in fairness. Oh, I ran out of bobbin! Shocking! That's why I couldn't pull the threads. Genius. Oh, look, pink. Oh, that works. So you might not be able to see this. Sorry, guys. So it just shows that proper preparation is key to everything and I should have had bobbins on standby, but I don't. So, oh, bobbins to it. Start that one again. No wonder it wouldn't go. Just pop that one down. Right, now we can pull our bobbin threads. Yay, it works every time. It's the service equivalent to a cheat code, that. If any gamers out there right so that's our pocket made and then all you want to do is pop it onto your dressing gown it's very simple let's come out a bit so you can see well, I've got my dressing gown opened up so you can imagine that the waist line is almost where you want the pocket to be so there's our belt loop. I would pop my pocket on there. And all you want to do to secure your pocket is a patch pocket, is follow the original stitching line to attach it to your dressing gown. You can have it on the right or the left, it doesn't matter. Now, incidentally, if you find that it, this all this is too thick to go under your foot to start, did you know that on your foot, if you put your hand round, the lever where you drop your foot, you may be able to push it up. How clever is that? So here we go. I'm just going to ease that through, get it started. Okay, 
We're just following the original sewing line so that nobody knows we cheated. I need to nurse it through a little bit on the feed dogs. There we go. And turn our last corner. And if Dolly wants to carry around uh, a little teddy, or if she wants to carry around a pocket tissue pack or something, who knows what she wants to do. That tap there. And that's your pocket on. So we can take the pin out. We can come out. And you've finished your dressing gown. There we are. Gorgeous. Dolly can't wait to get snuggled up and into that tonight, I bet. So how it sits on Dolly is this folds round. This creates her lapel, this creates her other lapel, and her belt loops carry her belt, and then she is snug as a bug in a rug. <gasps> I didn't cut my corner. You can tell from how easily it stood out like a sore thumb. Now it will sit properly. Ta-da! Much better and untwisted. So there we are, my friends. That's your dressing gown finished to go with your pyjamas. Have a lovely time doing that and make sure to post a picture on the Facebook page or the Dolly Pattern Service group because I love seeing them. I love giving you lots of hearts for doing amazing sewing. It's my favourite thing. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.